Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. With this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3050 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. This one is the Gigabyte Eagle model of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers. These are the ones with the hotfix in place, so the game doesn't flicker all over the place, and I'm not overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. Rebar is enabled. It has 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, 2560 CUDA cores, and over on the left, we are pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 30 32 gigabytes of RAM. Let's get into it, shall we? As usual, let's go over the settings first. I'm starting this at 1080p resolution, and I'm also going to test this at 1440p and 4K. And we are utilizing the Ultra Settings preset at this moment with normal textures because it actually starts stuttering a little bit with high textures at 1440p. If you want high textures at 1080p, it should be fine with an 8 gigabyte card. But the textures don't really impact the FPS, so I'll keep them on normal. Let's go. All right, so at native 1080p resolution. Damn, that's that's really intensive. It's dropping, guys. Holy crap, this is also the most intensive map in the game, but I wasn't expecting it to drop from 60 FPS at 1080p native ultra settings. Crazy stuff. Of course, we still have that DLSS support in this card, which is amazing, and it will definitely make it well above 60 frames per second, and like in Forza Horizon 5, by the way, <laughs> in which it doesn't really impact the FPS too much if you enable DLSS, that is, not that you can't get 60 plus in that game, it's very well optimized. But yeah, the water is extremely intensive in this game, the water physics, to be exact, and... Uh, it's dropping into the lower 50s at times. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> I was expecting it to perform a bit better than this. Oh boy, of course, the camping snipers are always here. Always here. There isn't a single game where I don't find any snipers camping in their base and directing other people because it's extremely easy to do that. Um, anyways, let's go this way without the water, you know. <laughs> if you avoid water, these are the FPS that you should expect at 1080p Ultra. Also, the game unfortunately doesn't have a high settings preset, which I find pretty weird. It only has like minimum, low, basic, I think, balanced, ultra and extreme. So I think ultra is kind of like the high settings. What the hell is that? Look at that. What? That that looks absolutely terrible. I don't even know what that is. What? No, this, this can't be right. What is happening here? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I just... Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop it there because it drops from uh, 60 FPS and it's not really that good like this. I'll also test this at low settings, by the way, for a competitive experience. Um, but let's enable DLSS, which will actually make the game look way better. 69 sharpness right there, because it's a perfect number. And I'm not sure about you, but this looks better than native resolution to me, because the Filmic SMA 82 x was enabled at native resolution in ultra settings. Uh, and that's the anti-aliasing of the game. It makes everything super blurry. I really don't like it. And uh, these upscaling technologies, both FSR and DLSS, actually make the game sharper. So... It's a win-win scenario, you get like 30 more FPS or 25 more FPS and uh, better visuals in my opinion. So if you have an RTX GPU, I strongly recommend you to enable DLSS in this game. It's just, it's gonna run great and look great at the same time. You should play with DLSS unless you have like an RTX 3090 and you play at native 4K. Then the Filmic SMAA stuff won't really look all that bad because, well, it's, it's 4K resolution, you know? Anyways, finally got another kill here. Oh boy, some big explosions happening behind us. Let's go push them a little bit through here. There's an enemy guy right there. What? Was it a friendly guy? I didn't hit a single shot there. Damn it. I need to level up some other guns as well. Oh, uh, there's a guy right there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Parkour. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Nice one down. Oh, hello there. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for, actually. Okay. Good. Nobody else? I don't think so. Let's drop down there. This feels way better than it did previously, that's for sure. We got killed by a camping guy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Let's continue here. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, come on. Seriously? <laughs> the timing. That's unreal. Oh my gosh. I wasted some bullets right there. Let's go this way now. This guy. Oh boy, damn it. What, what does this mean, by the way, guys? 
I know some of you know this language, so please tell me what that means. You already told me well, about the burgers in a sign in this particular map as well. Uh, it was like good burger, what it meant, I think, but it looked like Burger King. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Oh, there's no exit here, of course. It's a bathroom. Bathroom never has exits in this game. There we go. I think there was another one looking at us from far away. But as you can see, if you prefer that visual experience, guys, this is definitely the way to go. It stays well above 60 all of the time. It's not really high refresh rate, but it looks great. And it performs really, really smoothly. Let's stop it there now. 89 FPS average, 55 1% lows. Trying to make these a little bit shorter than usual because the Modern Warfare videos that I've been making have like half an hour, every single one of them. <laughs> so yeah, uh, disabled DLSS, let's go up to 2560 by 1440. This is it, let's go. 100% resolution scale using Filmic SMA 82X again. And okay, ooh, this is, this is rough. For a Call of Duty 40 something FPS is definitely not what you want, guys. You really want those 60 plus, even at native resolution and 1080p res, it, it was pretty bad. Oh, I didn't notice that was a, an enemy guy, actually. Um, so, don't do this, guys. If you really want to play at 1440p, I think DLSS is going to be your friend, maybe unbalanced, you know? And you should, you, you need to enable it, otherwise you're just going to get wrecked like me. Oh, massive, beautiful explosions there. Love it every time. <laughs> and I always say this, but I, I, I really like the explosions in this game. Okay, we got a care package. Is this a care package? Uh, a kill streak. Yes, it's a care package. Okay. Can I grab this? Please, buddy, um, can you defend me? What's your name? Crystal Ma... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy it right here. Is there somebody sleeping? No, no, oh boy, what? Oh, he heard me. Damn it. I was just gonna camp there and use my kill streak. My new clip. Maybe, maybe I stole it from him, and that was revenge. All right, there we go. Never used one of these things before. Does it move a little bit faster? No. <laughs> okay, we got infinite minigun bullets there, and the fuel is actually not infinite. So that's probably. Oh boy, so many stutters there. By the way, that was actually really bad. Okay, can we get a single kill, please? Thank you. All right, we got one. Actually, that wasn't a kill, maybe? I don't know. I wish this was a little bit faster, you know? Uh, it's taking a really long time for us to get there. I think there's an enemy right here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, you two. What? Oh, we only killed a couple of them, I think. Maybe three, actually. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, now I know that I should definitely use the kill streak near them, otherwise we're gonna spend like the entire time going there <laughs> instead of actually killing people. But hey, yeah, 40 FPS doesn't feel like completely awful because we got that Nvidia reflex enabled, so the input lag is not too high, but it's not competitive by any means. Okay, should not do this at native resolution. If you want to play at native res at 1440, where did you come from? I just killed you. <laughs> if you want to play at native resolution 1440p, maybe it's gonna go well at like low settings, not like this. So let's go ahead and enable some DLSS on perf uh, balanced here because balanced on a native 1440p monitor looks extremely close to uh, quality. And as you can see, this is enough to put us above 60 FPS in some scenarios. I died, that's why our 1% lows are low now, guys, but I skipped it because it was a terrible play by me. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the water right now. Is that a friendly? Yes, it is. Um, I want to see the FPS in the water here at the 1440p balanced DLSS. But you know what? For a GPU that's not meant for 1440p gaming, even Nvidia told me this is a 1080p gaming GPU, whatever that means, you know, I don't really like to label GPUs uh, to a resolution. I don't think it's accurate because if you want to play at 4K in some games, you can even with a 3050, you know, and they will run quite well. Um, but yeah, it's definitely targeted at 1080p gaming. That's what you should say. Not it's a 1080p gaming card. No, it's targeted at 1080p gaming. And uh, yeah, it, it does a really good job at 1080p, especially with the LSS in this one. 
And here at 1440p, we still can have a decent experience. And here at 1440p, we can still have a decent experience. Not really sure if it dropped from uh, 60 FPS uh, in the water, by the way. Oh my, no, no, please. Oh, I wanted to go for the tank. There we go, you died. This guy who killed us died with um, a Jeep in his face on top of his head. I, I saw it. <laughs> that was perfect. Get wrecked, boy. It's karma for you. Kill the benchmarker. You don't deserve to live. There we go. Got another uh, tank over here. Let's go. Nice. Now we should be able to do something. Not gonna lie, guys. This is quite enjoyable. There's a new guy right there in the tank. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We hit him a ton of times already. Let's go. Reload. Reload. He's missing everything. Nice. I think it exploded, right? Yeah, pretty sure it did. Good job. We did it, my friends. Oh, yes. Oh, hello there, kind sir. <laughs> Get wrecked with a missile. Oh, yes. That one didn't die, though. Let's go. Nice. Killing damn bastards right now. And even with all of this smoke effect and explosions and stuff like that, it's it doesn't feel bad by any means, guys. I think 1440p with DLSS balanced looks great. And it feels great as well. You can definitely play like this and enjoy your time doing so. So yeah, that's it for 1440p with DLSS. I think we found the perfect settings for it. Oh, 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 there is there is another tank right there. Please, I want it. Oh, come on. Karma, karma hit me there as well. <laughs> but we did pretty well with the tank. Last thing to do is just recheck the water, actually. Let's go, water. You actually got a shake the water a little bit <laughs> to drop the fps even in the water so i don't think this is a problem guys this is perfect actually at this resolution and settings perfect experience what the hell are you doing somewhere around there what okay i, I don't want this stop stop come on i need to go i'm just i'm going don't oh, don't do that to me buddy please i want that tank oh yes it's still there Oh, we're winning. I think we're gonna win this one, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. We actually won. 70 FPS average. It doesn't really move that much from 70. Uh, sometimes it drops into the lower 60s, higher 50s, worst case scenario, but it's pretty solid. I really enjoyed this at 1440p, I think. If you have a 1440p monitor, you still don't need an upgrade for this game, unless you want high refresh rate, of course. So let's try it out quickly at 4K, because that's going to be terrible. <laughs> 3840 by 2160, ultra settings preset at 4K. Actually, I disabled depth of field, so it's not really the preset, but that's the only thing, you know. Oh boy, that's going to be bad. Oh, this is not good. A black screen getting 20 FPS. Yeah. We are we are stretching it. <laughs> okay, well, at least this is less intensive than the black screen now, but it's still 20s. Okay, yep, we are stretching it now. This is terrible. It's dropping from 30, so nobody should do this, obviously. Okay, I'm not sure if I can actually kill somebody with these FPS. What I can say is that the game looks absolutely stunning like this. And that filming SMAA doesn't even bother me one bit at 4K resolution. It's sharp anyways. At lower resolutions, it looks terrible though. But yeah, maybe at 1440p native one, like a 27-inch monitor, it would look pretty good as well, honestly. Because that's uh, high PPI as well. I can't control this. <laughs> that was awful, bro. Oh my god. All right, we need some DLSS right away, okay? Let's do, like, performance, which still looks decent at 4K. Give it a little bit of time to apply. There we go. Oh, da oh, oh, I saw 60 there for a second. That's beautiful. Oh, it's stuttering so much, by the way. And maybe it's still loading something. So I'll restart the counting system. And here we go. Yes, okay, that's, that's all right now. It's not, well, it's stuttered there a little bit. <laughs> maybe 8 gigs is not enough at this res. For these settings, I don't know, because it, it is starting to stutter, yeah, quite consistently. You can see that frame time spike over there. It happens like five, every five seconds or so. That's VRAM related, I think. So at this res, we would probably need to drop, uh, oh, that's, 
that was good. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? Okay. Um, we would need to drop the texture resolution to low instead of normal, which kind of sucks, you know, but yeah, it, it is what it is. This is not a, a 4K gaming GPU anyways. So whatever. <laughs> Let's go. UAV. Nice. The fact that it's getting 50 to 60 with these kinds of graphics, it's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Doesn't look like native res. You can tell a little bit that the LSS is at work, because there are some shimmery things, but not too many. I am actually struggling to show you some shimmery edges. Yeah, uh, okay, so over there, for example, when those things separate from the sky, yeah, you can see that it's shimmery, but only when moving. This performance DLSS at 4K, that, it still looks pretty good. I remember this area to be pretty intensive, like inside of these warehouses. Not a problem though. Just lower the textures to low and it's gonna get rid of those stuttering issues and it's gonna be like a, a 50 to 60 FPS experience all of the time. Like maybe like 45 to 60. But it's solid-ish, honestly. For a 30, 50, it's not terrible. <laughs> Sometimes you get 60s. In 6v6 modes, smaller maps without any water, it could probably get 60 FPS on average. So there's that. I still don't recommend anybody to do this. Just play at 1440p maximum on a 3050. But this is impressive. Let's go over the settings again. We're back to 1080p resolution at the minimum settings preset with normal textures to make it look a little bit less bad, you know? Uh, so this is for those of you that want the maximum performance, of course, and are competitive in this game. You can see that those shadows are terrible looking, but with the LSS, they actually start looking good. So yeah, we gotta test that out as well. All right, so these are low settings, right? I mean, I, I'll, I'll double check. Low. Yep, everything low and off. Okay, yep, minimum settings. Let's go. Start counting our FPS. And, ooh, hundreds. 100 plus. That's that's pretty good, actually. Not bad by any means for a 3050. I was honestly expecting a little bit better. Like, the 3060 laptop GPU that I tested in this game was definitely better than this. Okay. Okay. Come on, okay, I'm not hitting those shots, dude. Oh, uh, oh no, no, I just wanted to see the FPS in the water. God damn it, every single time, it starts, it starts. They're already camping near the water. They know, they must know that I always go there. So they stand there waiting for me to push through the water because who's the stupid person who's gonna push through the water, right? Like, why are they even standing there? Oh, damn it. I, I should probably stop using the bolt action. I'm not used to it anymore. Let's go. Okay, water. Not bad. 80s, 90s. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. If you really want native resolution and well above 60 all of the time, somewhat of a high refresh rate experience, but not really, because, you know, it's, it's not going to max out even a, a 120 hertz mode. <laughs> Uh, I stopped counting the FPS there. I got mad. I'm sorry, guys, but let's start again. <laughs> I need to go this way now uh, without a sniper rifle. Yep. Anyways, yeah, you won't even max out a 120 hertz monitor, let alone like a 144 hertz monitor. But maybe with DLSS, you might get really close to that, you know, and it might actually look a little bit better again. Now we don't have the Filmic SMAA crap enabled. So it doesn't look very soft and blurry, but maybe the LSS might actually make it a little bit sharper to the point where you would prefer those visuals. I don't know. There are a ton of games in which I feel like the LSS make the game look better. And usually it's Call of Duty ones. <laughs> like Vanguard suffered from the same smudginess at native resolution and enabling the LSS looked better. Uh, Warzone is the same thing. This one, to an extent, is the same thing, especially with the filmic stuff. I don't know, if you, if you like it better, of course, just enable it. You're gonna see more FPS anyways. Wait a second, I, I saw somebody in the UAV in this direction. Like, what? Is there an enemy guy somewhere around here? I've never been to this place before, honestly. I didn't even know that you could go here. All right. Oh, God. They also have camping bastards in this side of the map. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible sometimes. Sometimes I really enjoy the games in this one, in Invasion, you know, but other times it's just getting wrecked, getting wrecked, getting wrecked every single time with camping bastards everywhere. It's just not fun, honestly speaking. 
But yeah, most of the time it is fun. So yeah, there's that. If I wasn't really recording, I would just rage quit this one and find a server where I can actually do something. But no, not gonna stop the benchmark in the middle of it, okay? Let's go. Water again. Same stuff. Yeah, we've already seen enough, probably. Nice. And let's stop it right here. And enable some DLSS to see if that competitive experience is actually possible. Because I wouldn't really call this a competitive experience. That would be like 144 FPS or something like that. Not on performance, please. That would look terrible at 1080p. Quality DLSS. All right, it's getting close to maxing out a 144 hertz monitor. So I feel like this is that competitive experience. There we go. That was a nice headshot right there. Just need to concentrate a little bit. And then we will do great things, my friends. Got this. Oh gosh, I really thought I would actually hit those that shot for some reason. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, come on, that reload is huge. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is there somebody here? No? Come on, are you gonna get him right, buddy? Yes, he got him. Where's the other one? Where is the camping sniper? I don't know, not gonna camp. Especially not with a sniper, so yeah. Let's go, let's get out of here. Again, guys, it's looking a little bit sharper, maybe a little bit fuzzier, but that's probably because of a 32 inch 4K monitor that I'm using. Ah, I got killed from behind, those bastards, man. Oh, there was one camping on top of the building where I was, you know? Hmm, okay. Let's go, 132 so far, that's pretty damn good. Gotta check the water though. It is pretty good, if you really want to be competitive here, I think you'd be fine with these settings and DLSS on quality. A lot of people don't like to use DLSS, but just give it a shot, you know? Yes, it is not native resolution, but it looks pretty good. It definitely does. Look at that, hundreds here in the water where we were seeing like 80s. So it's a substantial difference and you're going to feel that difference in a high refresh rate monitor. So, um, yeah, I, I, th I really think this is the way to play this game with an RTX 3050. I did poopy things there. Should probably not have <laughs> shot that one, honestly. There's another guy there. Okay. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Thank you for not killing me, buddy. Also, it solves... It sort of solves that noise issue here that we usually see on low settings inside of this house. So that's another bonus of DLSS. It also makes some interiors look way better than with native resolution, especially on low. Yeah, 130. I'm going to keep playing like this for a little longer because I think this is the way that you that people should play this game if you have a high refresh rate monitor. Are we going to die, guys? Come on, bet. Place your bet. No? Not dead yet. We're good. I have no idea what those things were. They looked like UAVs. Maybe UAVs going outside of the map. I don't know. They just got bored of UAVing. <laughs> There's a guy there. What the? Die. What the hell, dude? Some of these bots have infinite armor almost. There's one there. Ah, Kemper was waiting for me. Look at him. Look at him play this game. He almost forgot that he was playing the game. He thought the gun was actually gonna shoot for him for a second. <laughs> Let's go ahead, disable DLSS now and play at 1440p. Can we get 60 plus at native res? Here we go, 2560 by 1440, this is it. No DLSS, native resolution. Oh, nice, this is good now. Okay, I could definitely enjoy the game like this for sure. Where is the other area with the really bad noisy shadows it's right there okay i really want to show you guys that come on not here it's uh eh, no it's not this one what the hell is happening with that house over there it was blinking for a little bit what the hell okay this is the one yeah let's get inside of here as you can see tons of noise right that looks terrible and with DLSS, even at 1080p resolution, where the noise would be a little bit emphasized, it didn't look as bad, right? So, in some areas, yes, again, DLSS makes a difference for the better, which is insane. What the heck? <laughs> Reload. Let's go. No, no. Okay, that's actual a, a player, an actual player. <laughs> How did I get him? He just forgot to shoot me for some reason. Okay, there's, there he is again. Nice, thank you for the kill again, buddy. 
Good, good job. Good job dying for me, people. Nice. Come on, where are they now? There's one of them there. And another one. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's another sniper guy there. Come on. Got him. <laughs> what is happening? What the hell? Why don't they kill me? They just don't care about me. Okay, finally. I was starting to get worried there. Was I cheating? <laughs> was I camping? You know, starting to get worried about that. I hate campers. I don't want to be one of them. I basically killed myself there at the end. Can I get these ones? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I cannot. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, now we can see a little bit better. There we go. Maybe we're gonna get some of them with that. Oh, they got a tank now. Go this way. Oh, it's almost over. We gotta need... Yeah, we, we gotta play... Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> we gotta play with DLSS in the next one, guys. I feel like I'm taking too long again testing these uh, settings, you know. I, th I told you at the beginning of the video, I don't want to make another half an hour video, but you know, I just... I get lost in the game. I'm actually enjoying it. When I'm enjoying stuff, I, I forget I'm benchmarking it. I feel like I'm I'm spending way too long in each setting already because I told you I didn't want a, another half an hour video, but I guess that's going to be it again. I'm sorry, guys. I just get lost in the game. 82 FPS average, 56, 1% lows. Pretty good stuff here, actually. Did we see it in the water? I don't think so. <laughs> but even if it drops there, just avoid water. I did it and I, I actually had a lot of fun here at 1440p native. I'm gonna go ahead now and enable that DLSS goodness on balanced again. Can we get like 100 FPS? I think we can. All right, we're spawning in. Game is just started and okay, around 100 FPS, exactly what I was expecting. Actually a little bit above that sometimes, which is awesome to see. Let's take a look at the water first though. See, if you guys have a 1440p monitor and if the games that you play use DLSS, 3050 is still capable. I'm not recommending this GPU though, because there are way better GPUs to be had for the same money or even less. Like the RX 6600, that's a way better card, way faster than this. And the RX 6600 XT as well as 3060, which is a ton faster than this one and well, it costs like, what, 100 bucks more, so it's definitely worth it. But if you are one of those people who bought the RTX 3050 because it was the only thing available when it released, basically, at a decent price point, um, you can still play games at 1440p. If you don't feel like upgrading just yet, this is still good at 1440p with the LSS, as you can see. The recoil is insane. I actually uh, chose a few different attachments for this gun, um, and the recoil is just crazy high right now. I gotta change some things out. I usually just don't care about the recoil on the guns, so I, I put attachments that give me more damage and stuff like that, and more aiming speed, you know, um, and then I will deal with the recoil myself, but now I feel like it's a little bit too much. <laughs> you know, the other day I made a video in Battlefield 2042 and somebody actually told me that I was uh, using macros. First of all, I don't even know how to set up macros, honestly. <laughs> I am stupid in that regard, okay? My my keyboard is really tiny, so I can't really do macro stuff here. <laughs> I think maybe I can. Again, I, I'm just a noob in that regard. But uh, they told me, oh, you're using macros, you're a cheater, and so on. Like, I, I wasn't. So then how are you controlling the recoil so well? I just am. <laughs> what the heck? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't use macros or anything like that. Oh. Gotta be stupid sometimes to assume those things of people. Just because you can't re recoil control stuff doesn't mean that the others can't. I have like 1,500 hours. No, 1,500 hours. 1,500 hours in CSGO. So of course I know how to recoil control the weapons and stuff. This is not really that hard. <laughs> the most interesting thing to me was that the guy was so stubborn saying, oh, you are, you are, you are cheating, you bastard. Oh yes, that, that recoil is a little bit too much right now. I gotta start bursting with this weapon. <laughs> Especially at the distance. Uh, nice. Really good stuff here at 1440p. I would definitely enjoy this. And I think you should either play like this or at 1080p low with DLSS for that competitive advantage. Really awesome stuff. 
Stop it there. Now 3840 by 2160 with no DLSS is a bit too rough for sure. Yep, still not good enough, guys. We gained like 15 FPS compared to ultra settings, which is good. It's like a 50% improvement in FPS. But again, nobody should play like this. We're actually getting less FPS at 4K low than... 1440p ultra native resolution so that's just crazy you know definitely avoid 4k this is just for fun at this point obviously nobody's gonna play like this actually if you are out there playing with a 3050 at 4k tell me in the comments i am curious what games do you play are you having fun can you actually play <laughs> recent titles at 4k is it enjoyable? Are you using like DLSS ultra performance or something like that? Maybe. Anyways, let's use DLSS now on performance again. 69% sharpness. Also, if it is a little bit too sharp using 69% sharpness, you can always adjust that uh, all the way up to 100 or down to zero. So that's great. If you feel like it's just a bit too over sharpened, which sometimes it might look a bit over sharpened. Uh, you can always adjust that. Maybe like 50 is the best way to go about it. Actually, I'm not even sure if it goes all the way down to zero. Um, by the way, you can see those stuttering issues are back. So yeah, it's just because of that. Um... Jesus Christ. Where are they shooting me from? Where? Oh, there he is. In the water. Benchmarking in the water. That's great. <laughs> yeah, the VRAM is the problem now. We can't really get a smooth experience at 4K unless you drop the... Uh, Ah, textures too low. Oh my god, it's almost at 69, guys. I will love it if we end this at 69 FPS average. Oh, come on, come on, give me those 69. Now it's above 60, so maybe it's possible. I think even if I... Oh, there we go, 69. Even if I stand still, the stutters will still be there. I didn't notice the camera stopped recording. <laughs> I was too focused in the video, <laughs> the game, actually. Uh, but yeah, lastly, I just want to add that this would actually be a decent experience at 4K with the LSS on a 3050 on low settings, because it's it's decent, it's it's above 60 FPS on a 4K 60 Hertz monitor or TV, it would be playable, which is interesting to see. You know, it's a, it's a massive improvement over what we saw at native resolution. This guy's good. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching again. Love you all. Bye-bye.